Let's now bring in Degas Wright, founder, CEO, and CIO of Decatur Capital. He's also a CNBC contributor. He and Decatur are NVIDIA investors. Degas, good morning. Good to see you. It's good to be up with you, Frank. All right, let's get into it, Degas. We heard what that retail investor had to say. I want to ask you, are you a believer in the fundamentals of NVIDIA? Uh, chips, huge moat when it comes to the AI space, or are you more invested in the vision of Jensen Wong? Well, well, we think that's a good strategy because we're using the managerial ability index, and it quantifies a CEO's contribution to a company's operating efficiency. And we see with Jensen, he has actually led this company for 31 years, and we would expect a high-ability CEO to produce higher-quality earnings based off their knowledge of the industry. All right, so a lot of it for you is the confidence in Jensen Wong. He's kind of becoming like an icon. You heard the other person just call him Jensen. He's like on a first name situation, a mononym at this point. Um, I want to ask you about something else. So investors, um, sky high estimates when it comes to NVIDIA when they report after the bell tomorrow, uh, more than 100% revenue growth, more than 100% EPS growth. At the same time, we're getting kind of whisper numbers about their guidance. I'm going to show this to the audience and you. So the street estimate for Q3 is about $31.5 billion in revenue. The whisper number, according to a UBS note and a lot of people, People talking is 33 to 34 billion. Now, do you believe that whisper number is largely based on confidence in Jensen Wong and the fact that he has been out there? He hasn't been hiding out. He's been very vocal about his confidence about not only the company currently, but about its future. We do, because ultimately, if you look at the free cash flow to return on invested capital, it's 76 percent. So this is a good platform to be able to hit those numbers. All right, so there's also the law of big numbers, Degas. I mean, sooner or later, NVIDIA is not going to be able to more than double revenue, double EPS. Um, if and when we get to that point, we got to say if and when because you don't really know if and when it's going to happen. Does that change your view on NVIDIA? If they happen to miss estimates this quarter or coming up, coming up quarter, does that change your view on NVIDIA or does that change your view of Jensen Wong? It it actually doesn't change either the NVIDIA or Jensen Wong because we're looking at the fact that he is a visionary, as been stated, and he's doing so well in the way we measure it. If you look at one aspect, he has, over the last three decades, invested almost 20 percent of revenue into research and development. So that's going to pay dividends much more into the future. Any concerns about an investment strategy based on a personality, even if that personality is the CEO? Um, I think Tesla investors have seen quite a bit of volatility. A lot of people believe in Elon Musk. And even when certain things don't happen, announcements don't happen on time or vehicle releases don't happen on time, they continue to believe in his vision. Is there any downside risk when it comes to investing based on your confidence in the person in the C-suite? Yeah, two things. One, market sentiment could definitely go against the measure. And also, we're using proxies to measure CEO's ability. And that may be an inexact science. All right, maybe an inexact science. So you don't see any immediate downside risk. Overall, as you continue to believe in this company, uh, it does have a very big moat when it comes to AI chips. A lot of people also just believe that, as you said, Jensen Wong's just a visionary, been leading this company for 30 years. Are you concerned about being a long-term shareholder if and when he decides to step aside? Are you worried about succession plans and things like that? We're going to have to cross that bridge when we get there. So if Jensen Wong has done such a great job of building the company, we believe that he's going to take the next step and find that successor that's going to continue NVIDIA's run. All right. Uh, Degas Wright, NVIDIA investor, believer in Jensen Wong. Next time I see you, if they beat, you got to wear a leather jacket on the show.